Yes, please. Okay, so in this problem, ladies and gentlemen, what we have to do is you have to know how to be able to apply our formula, which for my logarithms I would provide it for you, which states A equals P times 1 plus R over N times N to the T. Now remember, there's a couple things. A equals our final value. P represents our initial value. Um, R represents our interest rate. N represents how many times it's compounded in a year. And T equals the number of years. Okay? So now we're given our information. We're just going to apply this formula to plug them in. So A, our final value, that's what we're trying to figure out, right? We want to know what is the final value. So we're going to leave that as our variable. A equals P, our initial amount. So they're saying you start off with $9,000. So it's going to be $9,000 times 1 plus R, which is our interest rate, which is 5%. So that's going to be 0.05. And then how many times? So it says it's compounded quarterly. So if you compound something quarterly, quarters four, four times in a year, times four times the number of years, which is five. Now we're just going to apply order of operations. So order of operations tell us to apply inside the parentheses first. Inside the parentheses, we again do order of operations. And actually, the first thing inside the parentheses for order of operations is going to do be division, right? So I do 0 0.05 divided by 4. Then I add that to 1. So now I've completed all the operations in the parentheses. Now the next part of order of operations is to do my powers, or my exponents. So I do 1.0125, raise it to the 20th power. And that's going to be 1.2820. And then I multiply that times 9,000. And my final answer, after five years at a 5% at a 5 interest rate, I have $11,538.30. OK? That's how you do problem. Yes? How to figure one out. That's the equation that's been given to you. You understand how I found my values and I plug them in. So again, you just follow order of operations, which I just set out. You first do the division, right? Then you add that to 1. Then you take that value, raise it to the 20th power, and then multiply that by 9,000. So you just got to make sure you follow an order of operations, and that will um, keep you out of trouble. <coughs>